Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. What was that voice? Actually, I know what that voice is. It's from a lot of screaming at Disney. Anyway, why the? I have the entire Creepover collection. I bought it from a store called Paul's Mart. I'll link it down below. They kind of go in and out of stock. Now, Twilight was $40. She is originally $25 retail. And some people are finding them at Walmart. I believe mostly in Illinois. So if you're there, go ahead and try finding them. But the others were like $29. And this store doesn't really charge taxes or any shipping. So the $29 price point is pretty much what I would have paid with taxes anyway, so I'm not too mad at that. But I'm super excited to be looking at Twyla today, and my studio lights are just bright enough to probably help her eyes glow because, yes, they still glow. I'm very excited to open Twyla. This is Twyla's return into the G3 universe, and I am actually really excited to hold this doll and see if she has polyporpoline hair. I'm hoping it's Saran. Some people have told me it's Polly, some people have told me it's Saran, but anyways, let me roll my intro quickly and we can get into this. Twyla, go! No. Hi. So Twyla, this is the first Slumber Party line for G3. The original Slumber Party line for Monster High was called Dead Tired. I actually have all my Dead Tired dolls down here and they're really nicely displayed. You could just never see them because the desk is here, but they have a cute little display, trust me. So this is G3's version and they're probably gonna just continue calling it Creepover if they add more dolls to it. Now each doll is dressed in their pajamas and they come with cute little accessories. Now I believe this is Twyla's basic look for the show. Don't quote me. We'll have to find out once the show rolls out. Her little pop turret is so adorable. I can't wait to get that out. Let's look at the box because it is slightly different than a normal doll and we can get into it. So this is one of the first sublimes for Monster High. So for this time around, the box is completely purple and this side is a dark purple instead of the black and the Monster High logo has a bunch of stars in it. It looks super pretty. And on this side, there are some cute little logos for Twyla and it's also on this side as well. So unlike the basics that had this on both sides, this is more open right here. So there's a little sticker above her that says her name, Twyla. It's a little black pillow. It has some holographic little stars all around it. See all of her accessories are on this side and Dustin has returned for this reboot. They just look a lot different this time and I'm not really sure how I feel about Dustin. We'll see once I get him out. And here's the artwork for the Creepover Party. I actually really love it. I think they look so cute right there and I can't wait to actually put all my Creepover dolls in the bedroom place that they came out. If you want to see the review on the bedroom place that I will link it down below and it says Creepover Party. By the way, if you're looking for her, here is her barcode. On the side it says Monster High. Then if we flip the box around, you can see the entire gang just on the floor taking a selfie. They look like they're in their bedroom. A lot of people were not sure why Twilight was being introduced in a slumber party line, but then it's like, come on guys. She's the daughter of the boogeyman, so it makes complete sense. I actually really love Twyla's little artwork. It looks super cute right there. And it says, Twyla, creepover must have is a bunny ear cap. Her monster midnight snack is a petrified pastry strudel. Her fave creepover activity is hiding in the shadows. So she seems like she's gonna be pretty similar to her original G1 counterpart, which is good. I really did like how Twilight was in the original so I'm very excited to see how she's gonna be in this new generation. But anyways guys that is pretty much Twilight's box. Now it is time to get her open. I am super excited about this. I'm always excited when I open my dolls so let's get into it shall we? So Twyla is out of the box. She was actually really easy to open. Most of her accessories were not really tabbed in like the original wave. So like the pets were tagged in and some of the little clothing pieces. So it was a little easier to open. Anyways, guys, let me show you everything that Twyla came with because she came with a lot of accessories and then we can move on to the physical doll. First things first, she comes with the Monster High equivalent to a Pop-Tart. It is super cute. It looks like it's a strawberry flavored one as well, which is not my favorite. I like the chocolate one to be 100 with you. <laughs> but it looks like it is screaming because it looks like Twyla already it a little bit off of his head. It is made of plastic and it has a little thumb peg so Twilight or any Monster High doll can hold it in their hand and there's nothing special on the back. Next is her little cup and it looks like it's a latte. It is made of this really pretty pearly iridescent purple plastic and you can see it's kind of shifting in my lighting. It has some molded stars and a molded tea bag along with a lid. It has a huge spider web in the middle and the lid does come off. It's like every G3 drink which again I really think is so cute. It adds to the detail. Next is her doorknob hair clip. 
a lot of people were saying this is her jewel, <laughs> but it's just a silver doorknob hair clip and there is a little peg to clamp it down to her hair. I guess you would count this as a barrette in a way, but yeah, it's super cute. I can see why people thought it was a jewel though. As for Twyla's eye coffin, it is made of that same plastic as her cup. It has a really pretty sheen to it. Purple case and it has bunny ears on the back because in fact it is a bunny case and it has some squiggles all around it to kind of look like it's fading into the shadows. But yeah, I'm glad that Twyla got her little eye coffin. Next, she comes with a book and it says intro to talisman and it has a bunch of little decals on it. It does not open like traditional Monster High books used to back in the day, but it is a really cute prop. The back has little spider webs on the corners and the only painted detail is really on the front. So this time around, the masks are made of this kind of rubber material. It's actually just really pliable plastic or they were made of fabric, of course, and a little elastic to go around the head. So this will do, but I do kind of wish it was made of fabric. I call it light blue color. It has a little bunny ears on the top. There are little cutouts where the eyes would be. And on the mask itself, it has a little spider web. You can put it on and off the doll's head with this little peg. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on this down below. Next, she comes with her backpack, and this actually looks just like Dustin did back in the day, and I kind of wish that this is how the pet actually looked, but we'll get onto that in a second. So it's a light purple bag that has this kind of tuft wear all around it. It has two little button eyes, a little pink nose, hole to show it's like screaming, and the back has little straps. And you can put a majority of her little accessories inside the bag, like so. As for Twyla's hat, it's made of a purple satin material, and the ears are actual fabric. I mean, it's kind of obvious, isn't it? And it has has a little hole so you could put her hair through it along with this little ribbon so you could tie it up and do it in different styles. Not really sure if I'm going to let her wear this or not but um it's cute. Last but not least is Dustin. So Dustin is different this time around. So originally Dustin was just you know a dust bunny like an actual like just dust <laughs> and that's why I love Dustin so much. They were just so campy with his little pet and this time it looks like an actual rabbit but it's just a lot more fluffier. He's just missing all the lint that goes into a dust bunny you know. So he has blue eyes that have little buttons in them instead of giving and them actual button eyes like before. His little pink nose and his mouth is a little open and there's a hair hanging from him. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on Justin down below. I'm not the biggest fan of his redesign. I really liked his original a lot more, but then again, I'm not really the biggest fan of the pet, so it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> okay guys, so now it's time to move on to Twyla. So this is Twyla's first doll in G3. Twyla is the daughter of the Boogeyman, if you are unaware. She's kind of like the opposite of the Boogeyman. She tries to make people have good dreams, so she kind of just absorbs the bad nightmares and gives people good Good dreams. So I love that about Twyla. And she's very to herself and she likes to hide in shadows typically. So Twyla looks pretty much the same. She has the same skin tone. Her hair is pretty similar to her original doll. It's just a little more vibrant. Now, one thing I was very curious about is if the hair was Polly or Saran. It definitely feels like a Saran. It has that gummy feel that Saran has, especially when it's curly. And it also has the weight of Saran. So it's definitely Saran hair, which is a shock to me because it's similar coloring to her G2 doll, which both had Polly Porpoise. So interesting there. I'm going to take off her little hat and I'm going to show you what her hair looks like. So my Twilight kind of looks like she has thin hair. I'm going to wash it of course and we'll find out if it actually is thin. But she has dark purple streaks in it and it's this really pretty shiny blue color and it is pulled to the side. This doll's hairstyle is very much reminding me of her new Scaremester doll. It's just the bangs are a little different. Her bangs are curled and they are quite hard so if you are planning on washing her just make sure you pay a little more attention to that and you should be good. I'm definitely probably going to recurl them and just make them look a little neater. Her hair does feel pretty nice and I'm happy it is Saran. So moving on to Twyla's face. She has green eyebrows and blue eyes. Her eye makeup this time around is all purple and in her eyes you can see there is little buttons and as I mentioned prior her eyes do still glow in the dark so I'm going to show you that right now to the best of my ability. Oh, it actually worked pretty well. <laughs> but yeah, that's her eyes. They're glowing in the dark. So um, I'm glad that they did that still. That's really, really cool. As for her lipstick, it is this frosty kind of purple color. Um, if you know what this color is, let me know down below. I'm having a brain fart right now. But yeah, it's a really cute color. And I actually like the effect it has on the lips because you can see the light is really catching it. I went ahead and put her little hair clip in just to show you what it looks like. I'm not sure if it's supposed to go there, but for now, it's just going to hang there and vibe. Now, something I noticed about Twyla is she has these cute little spider webs in her ears. I don't believe the original had that. As for her earrings, a lot of people have been saying are those bed bugs, but I think they might be dust mites or anything like that. But they're these really chunky bug earrings and they have a spider web back and they also have that really pretty iridescent sheen to them, like a bunch of her accessories. I'm not the biggest fan of them because they're pretty chunky and as you can see, they're not staying in her ears like really at all. So Twyla's outfit is actually two pieces. So the top is a sweater and she has a long skirt underneath it. The material they use for her sweater is kind of reminiscent to that Frankie doll that came out in that six pack but it's a little nicer 
and the design on it is all these swirls it's purple light pink and it has some of that blue in there so her cuffs are turquoise along with the top and bottom though i like how it looks like a real sweater this time around she also has a cute little black bow and this kind of outfit reminds me of her signature doll from g1 a lot but it's obviously a lot different i could see g1 twila actually wearing this outfit so that's a good thing and i'm actually happy that the bow is not printed on and it's an actual little ribbon bow she also has on this turquoise belt and it's made of plastic it has a kind of scary bunny looking face in the center along with a ring and a lot of squigglies and the sweater velcros in the back as for her skirt she has a turquoise waistband along with all the hemming matching the print on it is black and it has pink spider webs along with little bugs crawling in them there are two layers to it and the material on it is kind of thin but not too horrible it feels pretty good actually so i do like how you could just wear the sweater with her if you wanted to or you could wear the outfit all together i actually kind of prefer like this i think it looks really really cute now twyla has pink hands this time around back in the day she had kind of these darker gray hands and they kind of blended up and the smoke on her this time around is also a kind of pinky purple color it's very light and it doesn't feel like it's going to chip off i don't really want to test it because i haven't seen anyone say it's chipped so that's a good thing i just don't like how different this looks it kind of looks like she's wearing molded gloves they were only to paint a little bit more around the entire hand and wrist i think it would have blended just a little better and i do actually miss twyla having the darker hands i think they looked a little better and on this hand she's wearing a bracelet it is made of that same plastic as her cup and other accessories very iridescent it has a little bell very very cute now twyla actually does still have her little leg smoke it's that same color that is on her arm and again it looks like it actually might be sealed this time because you can see it has like a gloss to it and i think they might have fixed that issue that i've been worried about with other monster high dolls <coughs> laguna <coughs> i'm actually going to test the scratching of this twyla yeah, it doesn't seem like it's zipping or coming off at all, and I was going pretty hard. So I'm happy that they may have fixed that. If you guys get this doll later on, let me know if any of yours chip so I could correct myself in the comments down below. So far, I think they might have actually fixed it, so I'm actually really happy about that. Now for Twyla's shoes, she actually has these really cool shoes on. Now these are kind of giving me OG Monster High vibe just a little bit. They're these high wedge shoes that have a little window right here on both, and you can't actually see through the window. It's black, and then the top is this purple color. It has a spider web motif to it along with four little buckles on the top and here are the bottom of twyla's shoes i just noticed on the bottom of twyla's shoes it is her and dustin that is so cute now i want to see what kind of body type they gave twyla because in the original show she was on the little sister body type which meant she was 14 so i'm very curious if she's also on the small body type here like draculaura or if she's a normal height like claudine so i got out torlai and draculaura so it does seem like twyla and draculaura are the same size twyla does have a little more platform to her boots than than this Dracula she has more of a flatter boot so these two are definitely the same size it's just she's not as curvy as her so it's a different body mold in general that's actually really really cool that they actually kept her small so I'm hoping now that Howleen will actually be the same height as Twyla again and then I think it'll be all great <laughs> anyways let me get out a normal Twyla now and we can do a little comparison okay guys so here is Twyla next to Twyla I feel like I haven't looked at a Twyla in a long time because her face is like scaring me a little bit <laughs> but as you can see the new Twyla is just a smidge taller than her so they're not the exact same size but you know i think in the new monster high universe she is still tiny as you can see the skin tone is pretty much the same it's pretty accurate and as for that ear thing i was mentioning yes it seems like it's a new thing on a g3 the hair color has obviously changed a lot purple here is a little more indigo than this and then the base blue is obviously not the same as this the eye color has changed also she used to have these purplish pink eyes and now she has full-on blue eyes and the eyebrows are a little darker on here than here as i was mentioning earlier there's the ombre from her wrist to her hand i wish they did that with this one as you can see it just looks so much better on this one and as for the leg smoke it is a different color as well but yeah guys let me know your thoughts on the new twyla and which one do you like more i actually am kind of torn between these two but i am very excited to see what they're gonna do with twyla and g3 and i really want to see different looks for her so anyways guys let me go get her on a stand and posed and we can end out this review okay guys so that is the end of my twyla creepover doll review i'm very happy that i own this doll i did pay a little too much but i was just very eager so i actually did pay into a reseller for once <laughs> but i'm actually really happy with her and i can't wait to see other people get her and do her hair and style her differently i'm also very excited to see people reboot her i think it would be super cute but also i'm very excited to do some cute creepover photo shoots with twyla and the rest of the ghouls which by the 
way are coming in a few days. I have every doll, so keep your eyes peeled on my channel if you want to see the rest of the dolls in this collection. But honestly, I feel like this is a solid doll for $25. You do get a little more accessory, as I noticed, than the original core dolls came out that are $25. She only has two pieces of clothing, unlike the others that had a typically three. There are some dolls that had like two to one, which is Cleo Laguna, but um, I'm very happy. And if this is her basic look, I think it looks cuter without the hat. So if you remove the hat, it's 100% cute because I can see her walking down the hallway like this. I give her an eight out of 10, mainly because I really wish that they blended this and this a little better. Anyways, guys, if you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Jay and I do doll stuff, duh. And I'd love you to join the channel. And guys, if you aren't following me on Instagram or on TikTok, it's at zombiexcorn as well. And guys, I will see you in my next Creepover review, which should be tomorrow. And I don't know who it's going to be, but you'll, you'll see. Anyways, <laughs> bye guys.